Welcome back, everybody. Karen Doster with the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board is here with one more apple recipe. And this one I'm excited about because I've never heard of such a thing. Tell us yeah, what we're making. Well, we've always heard how cheddar cheese goes great with apple pie. Cheese, which is savory, and sweet apples go really well together. So this is kind of a sweet, savory bread called cheddar cheese apple bread using fresh you know apples that are seasonal cheddar cheese which is nutty and, and kind of a rich flavor in in there and it's almost like a banana bread in a way so you can have it with soups and um, you know fall dinners but you can also probably have it for breakfast too so so it doesn't need to rise it's a quick bread too it is a okay. quick bread I like yes. that yeah and it's really simple to do so you will first want to have your oven set at 350 okay, okay? I'm going to be using some Macintosh apples here you can use that that's a good one because these are apples that you want to cook down okay. in, in the in the batter and also I have a gala apple so you know there's a couple different varieties that you can use okay so we're gonna start with our batter but you're gonna take some dry ingredients okay there. flour and two cups of flour we have um, two-thirds cup of sugar a little baking soda and baking powder and a little bit of salt okay okay and you want to uh, mix that together so it looks like most of these ingredients you probably already have on hand that's right it's a real simple basic uh, recipe so and, and while you're doing that I'm shredding uh, these apples that I've already cored and peeled okay Okay. We're going to add this shredded. Okay, then in your mixer, you're going to put your um, dry ingredients and then a um, half a cup of butter or one butter that's been uh, a stick of butter that's been softened. Okay. Okay. And then two eggs that you're going to slightly beat. Okay. In the little bowl first sure. before you add that. So this is quick and easy. Yeah, very easy. What we need is about a cup and a half of. Um, of shredded apples. So I'm gonna measure that because I don't want to overdo it either. There we go. So our egg go right in now? Yep. Okay. okay, and then let's get the mixer on and you actually just you know mix it not too high, uh, but for everything to kind of pull together like a dough. It's okay. gonna look like a dough. And this should take a few minutes there. And um, I've already shredded some uh, Wisconsin uh, cheddar cheese. Okay. I decided to use like the medium. Sure. You could use sharp, or, you know, whatever you'd like. You could use white cheddar cheese as well. That's available out there as well. So whatever you'd like to do, whatever you have on hand would be fine. Do you have to kind of form this uh, into uh, with your hands or will it pull together yeah, automatically? It will pull together once okay. you put everything else in there. Okay. So I would get that a little bit higher there. Okay. Okay. You can see how it's coming together. Yep. Okay, that's about right. Don't want to overmix it. Let's turn it off. Okay, now what we're going to do is you're going to add your half a cup of shredded cheese. And then we have uh, our apples. Again, about, mm, about a cup and a half of shredded apples. Put that in there. That's going to provide a lot of moistness. And then I also have a cup of uh, chopped walnuts. And just to put that on, just slowly to kind of stir it all okay. together. And you'll notice that you have a really thick batter, okay? And that's the way it's supposed to be. So once How's that's, that look? yeah, that looks good. Once it's blended together uh, well and all stirred together, you could probably do this by hand too, but I found it easier to mix it like okay. this. So. so we've got a loaf okay. pan there. And I have a buttered loaf pan. This is a nine by five by three. And then you put it all in there and uh, you'll see how it's nice and thick. And just want to press it all down to make a loaf. Okay. And this is going to bake for about um, 50 to 60 minutes, depending upon you know, your oven, and you want to make it nice and um, you know, kind of brown on, on top. And I would really you know, get it down in there, press it down. Okay. So it'll be nice and dense. Here. And, and so again, it goes into the preheated 350 degree right. oven. About um, 50 to 60 minutes, okay? And, and then let it out to cool, and that's what it looks like. There. Oh, okay. and little pieces of apple mm -hmm. and the cheddar cheese in there. Yeah, there. absolutely. Karen, thank you so much oh, for coming. Sure. I love both the recipes that we did today, and it's very dense. So yeah. I'm mm -hmm. thinking like a big batch of vegetable soup. This would mm -hmm. go perfectly yeah, with that'd it. That would be great, too. You can get the recipe on our website, fox11online.com. Click on the Living tab and Recipes, and it'll be right there. And yeah. we'll be right back to wrap things up. Ooh, yum.